Did we get him? So hey, today is January the 30th. We're out doing a little rabbit hunting this morning. And uh, you can see we have some snow on the ground behind me. And uh, it's been brittly cold. And the wind has blowed for the last two days really, really hard. And uh, so that makes for a not so good smell day. But uh, we're starting this morning and Hopefully as the temperature rise, the smell will get a little bit better. And uh, so, hey guys, you stay with us and let's go jump a rabbit. <coughs> this is secret. Oh, I just, this is always a rabbit or two in here. All right, find him. Find him in there. How thick is it where they at? It, it ain't like a brush pile, but it's it's thick. So they jumped a rabbit. So since it's so cold, you heard the dogs, they kind of struggling this morning. Because, just because it's so cold, it's uh, like 26 degrees, dew points way down. We still have snow on the ground. The wind has blown for the last two days hard. So it's really dried the ground out, which makes it really hard for the dogs to actually smell a rabbit. So they've been running this rabbit probably for about 20 minutes. And uh, they can run him good for a little ways and then they struggle and they just bump and bump and bump and bump. So the only thing you can do, they really don't push the rabbit hard. So really the only thing you can do is just spread out, give the dogs ch time to work that track. They may not be able to smell it here they may be able to sell it, smell it 50 yards as they circle on down. So you just have to get quiet because you can't really track the direction of the rabbit. And just be still and patient and let them bump that rabbit around in the thicket. And a lot of times they'll bring him right to you. You can see we hunting some really thick pines behind me. It's hard to see. So the best thing to do is hunker down, be quiet, Keep your eyes and your ears open and you'll get that rabbit. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up in there. Pick it up. I think that, that rabbit done come in here. You remember when he come up here? You could, I could see the houses. I figured he'd come in here and then he shot right straight back down. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up in there. Pick it up. So I'll give you an update. We didn't get that other rabbit. We were running earlier. <clears throat> They got over there on a the snowy hill. We circled a couple of times and uh, the dogs just never could pick it up. So we've been hunting through this thick stuff behind me and uh, just working our way through the thick stuff down the bottom. We got on the side of this sunny hill right here and uh, you can hear the dogs. They jumped another rabbit and uh, they gone out that way. So I've got a pretty good opening here. There's a pond right here and uh, since they Hit the track right behind me here. I'm gonna just hang out here in this opening and see if I see the rabbit. So hey, stick with us and let's get this rabbit. So to give you an update, uh, you didn't hear the shot. I didn't have a camera running, but they killed a rabbit. 
And uh, so we came over here, we're going through these thick pines over here to another spot that's kind of thick. And uh, I was off in the bottom and uh, they killed a rabbit on the other bottom and I didn't hear him talking. So I'm just now catching up. So we're gonna get up here and see if we can jump us another rabbit. So to give you an update, uh, the smell is getting better. The temperature's coming on up now some, it's probably about 35, 36 degrees and the uh, snow's beginning to melt and uh, the smell, the dogs are able to run a rabbit a little bit better now. So we're gonna keep at it and uh, hey, let's go jump a rabbit. All right, so I also see they jump right here. So we'll get up here and see if we can see that rabbit. They actually run into two rabbits right now. Trix is on one down here. She must have ran across it when she was going to the dogs. He sound like he's bringing that rabbit on back around. and turn went back. I'm gonna slip off down in there and see what I see. in the winter time when it's bitterly cold the winds blowing or it's been really cold sometimes after let's see what time it is so it's like 12 20. actually you don't have to worry about going hunting to like 11 o'clock and uh so now the smell is much better so if you ever face with these conditions just wait till lunchtime sleep in that morning and uh Anyway, get the dogs out and hunt in the afternoon because that's the warmest part of the day here in January. Let's see if we can kill this rabbit. So, we got the rabbit. I hear them saying dead rabbit up the bottom. I didn't want to move because I didn't know if they missed the rabbit. Nobody hollered, let me know they killed it. So, always when you hear a shot, just hold your ground as long as the dogs are running until you know that they've got the rabbit. Good deal. Hey, let's go jump another rabbit. You don't want to put that one on YouTube. Hey. It's another rabbit in there because soon as Trixie started over there to him on the hill, she broke and went back around the side of the hill and come back. But the dogs was like going toward that big pine tree, and then that high pitch dog, either mine or started back this way and they yeah. got back on it. That's when I saw the glimpse or something. Well, I think they're running two different rabbits. Cause that high pitched dog pulled them dogs back over to that rabbit that you got. We got a jump in this thicket right here behind me. Austin thinks he just saw the rabbit. We're gonna watch for him to squirt out right here.
Did we get him? I don't know. Stay right there. I just shot in there where he went. We got it. He's yours. He was hurt when I shot at him. Dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. Good boys. Good boys. Dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. So, as as you gain experience as a rabbit hunter, you'll be again to recognize bad scent conditions. I've literally seen the dogs one day run fantastic. The very next day, you could actually see a rabbit go down the trail, carry the dogs over there, put it on the trail, and they just could not smell the trail. And that tells you a lot. One day the dogs run good, next day the dogs don't. So you begin to develop and recognize the conditions that you're actually hunting in. If you find yourself in that position, your dogs are not doing good that day, just think about what kind of conditions that you're actually in, and that can give you a lot of answers. Well, sounds like we've got a jump in this thicket right behind me. You can hear the dogs heading on down. It's pretty thick. I'm going to slide in here and find us an open spot. So, give you an update, we got the rabbit. Nice short run, rabbit went down the bottom, made a little short loop, come back. Okay, we're fortunate to kill that rabbit. You can see how thick it is, you can't see but about 10 yards in here. Anyway, we're gonna go jump another one. So you can hear the dogs in the background. They want another rabbit. So where they made that loop with that rabbit in here, they actually got another rabbit up. So. They gone down the bottom and uh, bringing him on back around. They chunking his tail. They almost packed. Somebody ought to be seeing this rabbit. Coming around towards you, Kenna. the one they were running but anyway that rabbit I glimpsed come around oh they might have got him jumping so anyway you can hear him going on I don't know if he got the rabbit but, uh, this could have been a side rabbit I don't know I just glimpsed the rabbit moving going and uh, anyway so it seems like the dogs come on around on this track so this could have been the original one that they was running I don't know anyway we'll go see
Hey guys, we're getting ready to end this video. Hey, it turned out to be a pretty good day. Even though it was really bad conditions early on, really dry and really cold, we wound up killing six rabbits. You just seen four rabbits on the tailgate. The dogs got a hold of two and, you know, messed them all up. So we didn't we put that in the video. But hey guys, we appreciate all the support that we get for the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share this channel. Click the like button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And hey guys, you remember, it's a wild life and I'll see you in the field.